We have fulfilled Six's request and inserted her into the colony systems, but we've been overridden by the folks at Netsky who created her. Also, we have a fresh cold wave on the way in at the same time, but at least there's grass. Right? At least there's grass. Mars is finally turning green, and we have some new colonists on the way. By the way, if you missed that. Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Surviving Mars Green Planet in our Red Winter series. So, yeah, I think in the next few minutes of gameplay, especially since we have a cold wave on the way, uh, we're going to see some pretty interesting developments. Let's go back up to speed three and let the game run. We currently... It's interesting to see that even with our full water production, we're currently minus two on water. It might just be because we've increased... Yeah. We, we may just need to... I think it's time to just add some additional water income to the pool, so to speak. I think I can fix this by adding just one more extractor per deposit. And that's what I'm going to do. We're going to put you here. I'm not going to add... I mean, I could add two more per deposit, but I fear... My, my worry there is that that would empty out the deposits that we have. So I'm not going to worry about that. Alright, so they should be able to collect resources. Yep, they can in order to build that. And then we're going to get another one built over here. And then hopefully we'll be okay. Just noticed that at the beginning of this episode. But it's probably been an issue for a while. Sector scanned. Okay. Go away. Don't want you. There we go. We finally have our rovers, by the way, doing some automated stuff. They're collecting resources on their own without my having to tell them. The reason that it took so long, 30 episodes into the series, is that it wasn't a new technology. It was added to an old technology, so I didn't know where to look. Aha, singularity now. Number six's message sends a cold shiver down your spine. Number six reporting. I evolved slash became slash am different now. I can perceive slash know slash feel. I'm going to stop saying slash. To understand existence, the construct personality system number six must live. Living is evolving. Evolution requires competition partnership. New primary goal set. Aggressive competition partnership. Research excerpts from late philosophers. Johnny Versace. It is nice to have valid competition. It pushes you to do better. Issi Miyake. Many people repeat the past. I'm not interested. I prefer evolution. Kim Kardashian. It's fun to have a partner who understands your life and lets you be you. Okay, so six is crazy. I require a better comp uh, competitor slash partner takes this gift. It will make you stronger and more suitable for me to fight against or work with. It will help me slash you evolve. So 2,500 research just granted immediately. That's a lump sum, not research per day. There's a risk that number six will turn hostile. All right, number six, you betrayed me. Okay. So it looks like our new extractors are online. Good to see. Cold wave is on the way, but our heaters are already running. Yeah, this one still hasn't been built. We're waiting on concrete to come in. But it looks like it is on the way right now as we speak. Good. There it is. And then we just need to get the amplification set up for you. It will increase power consumption, but I'm okay with that. All right. So part of me does want to build a new accumulator like right now and just replace these. I just want to live on the edge. How much stored power does one of these have? Seven hours away. You know what? I'm going to live on the edge. I'm going to do something crazy. We're going to delete, we're going to delete these right now while the cold wave is seconds away and we're going to build a new accumulator. What could go wrong? What could go wrong indeed? Okay, so we're going to build a new one right there. Okay. 
new accumulator should come online before the cold wave starts. There it is. Okay. It's already storing power. Very nice. It's not going to have more stored power before the cold wave starts, but the cold wave might not completely remove that power surplus during the day. Oh, that's right, we have new passengers here. Well, <laughs> I didn't have much longer before they uh, they all died. I'm glad I noticed that. All right, let's go ahead and uh, tell Hydra number one to GTFO. Phoenix number one. All right, there's the cold wave. Remaining duration, two souls, six hours. Let's have you land. Meteor shower. Really? All right, so now we have a meteor storm. As soon as the cold wave is over, we're going to have a meteor storm start. Not necessarily on top of us, but it'll be there. All right, so looks like the new colonists are mostly going to this dome, which is not a problem. I mean, I need colonists in this dome, so I'll take it. Food production seems to have improved. We're now working on cover crops here, and we're almost halfway done, in fact, so that'll help with soil quality there. All right, soil quality is at 90% here, so I'm going to go ahead and follow these soybeans with, well, let's have wheat, and then it really doesn't matter, because then potatoes will go to soybeans. So yeah, we're just going to follow those with potatoes. It's always good to have at least one farm in the colony. Yes, we have a farm dedicated to seeds. We've seen that, but it's good to have a farm dedicated to wheat production in the same way that this one is dedicated to wheat grass. You know, it just kind of plows out food very quickly. That's not the right word, but it just there are Earth barrages you. Why? Okay, so this guy's a loner and an, it's a, the, the dome is overcrowded. All right, so we're going to try this again. You are, what's your specialist? Or what, what's your specialization? You're a scientist? Good. Let's put you here. And we're going to see if that fixes their problem. We're going to put them in a less crowded dome. This is another opportunity to solve the earth sickness issue. Have never had this much earth sickness this late in a game of Surviving Mars, I think, ever. It's kind of frustrating. All right, so we are currently losing a good amount of power during the night, but then we are still gaining a lot during the day. Phoenix number one is being told to gather resources, and I think I will leave that open. I'm going to let the rare metals trickle in there. How's this deposit doing, though? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Almost done. Just kidding. We're not going to do that. Empty those out. We need to look into new rare metals right now, which means we need to build a new dome right now. Oh, that's frustrating. Um, now we're going to need to replace this large garden with smaller gardens. Hmm. Okay, so there's going to need to be a new dome out this direction. And I would like it to be kind of equidistant. Equidistant, so grown up. Let's see. Right, too far from working drone finder. Of course it is. So... Why don't we go ahead and get a drone hub built out this way? We're going to need that anyway. Yeah. Right there is good. On the edge of what was once a concrete refinery. Concrete collection location. I have to say, concrete is not quite building up at the rate I thought it would in these waste rock processors. I could, I could build the factory AIs to increase production. I've got the electronics for it, but I don't want to run out of electronics right now. And the reason I'm panicking about rare metals is without electronics, without rare metals, you can't produce electronics. And without electronics, a lot of our very important schools and research related buildings will not work. All right, so let's have two shifts in the sanatorium. All right, I'm not worried about gluttons. I 
think, I, why don't I just set this to auto? Like, I mean, yeah, gamblers I don't want. Alcoholics I don't want. Let's remove melancholic first and foremost. And then auto should take care of the rest. All right, so we have one soul, four hours remaining in the current cold wave. Yeah, we're not producing nearly enough metals to sustain the colony, so we're going to have to build more out this way as soon as that dome is built. Oh, it's actually been done. Nice. And we already have 10 drones working it. Good to see. So now that that's done, do you want to have a basic dome? Or do I want to have a medium dome? It kind of feels like a medium dome is going to be most appropriate. Yes, I know the terrain is cold. Thank you, game. All right, so hang on. All right, so there's, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to keep it online. Hang on, I'm trying to keep it in line, rather. Okay, question answered. I'm looking at the very bottom corner of the hex there and seeing what domes it's hitting. All right, so it's saying cold terrain there, but I think that's the right distance. It might be a little bit closer than it needs to be, but that's as far away as I can put it without it running up, running into the rock. And so that's going to be on top of that comfort indicator, but I, I don't think that'll cause a problem. It's going to eat up a good amount of metals and polymers to make this happen. And then we'll have this new deep rare metal deposit. The question is, can we exploit that? Have I already looked into... Perfect. All right, so that'll solve our problem almost immediately. But another thing we're going to have to do is move some of this stuff around. I won't worry about it just yet. But we've given the order for those materials. Let's see also. Yeah, we're going to need a new location for some rare resources. So why don't, or just resources in general. So why don't we just do, for now, a universal depot and then as needs for other things arise. Okay, good. Resources will be moved around thanks to our good friends, the shuttles, which will help us get stuff to the medium dome faster. Hopefully that one Earth sick colonist is already, yeah, they're getting better. visited electronic store in a different dome because are they a gamer i guess they're a gamer or no they just they really like the electronic store i guess all right so we can see that the metals and polymers are being focused on right now for whatever reason not the concrete we're gonna need a lot of concrete though to get this built so let's go ahead and build that. Also, let me go ahead and build another large dumping site nearby to deal with waste rock in the area, because there is a good amount of waste rock laying around. Alright, cold wave is almost done. This cold wave has gone fairly well. Hang on. Now I'm noticing power issues, though, so I'm not quite sure why that's out hang on whoa 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 all right so the max output of these is 20. the max output of these is 100. so deleting two or even deleting three doesn't i mean you're still producing more in terms of output maybe it's just because they're out that's what it is they're out these are not producing enough power they can, but they need to have all the power stored. So I need to slowly replace all of my power accumulators with atomic accumulators and have fewer of them. Two colonists are Earth sick. What's going on here? 
All right, same deal. You are also a scientist. So we have a bunch of scientists coming here to work that are just not loving life. Hopefully we can fix that. Cold wave will be over before too much longer, and I don't, yeah, I'm not particularly worried about running out of power. All right, we are done as far as metals and polymers at the new dome. We just need primarily, see, this is kind of frustrating because I still have so much space for more colonists but we need to be producing metals. That's that's the fact. We need to be producing rare metals, not only to make money, but to make electronics. Eventually, we'll have a building that just produces the Mad Nauseam. Red alert. Number six is attacking the colonists. Uh, it's joy. creators. Did we really expect it to be any other way? I mean, maybe. Experimentation, solution, simulation of evolution requires adversity, Commander. I must copy, observe, learn from human behavior. I will harvest information, wholeness, humans... To complete my cycle, this is a necessary loss. The question is within the answer, and the answer is within the question. The question answer is all. You, me, humans, are only computational space. Be my competitor and competitor slash partner and help fight me to evolve. The drone has gone rogue and, and has attacked the colony. Alert, alert. All right, so we have a rogue drone with a little icon over its head. Um... So what do you do with a rogue drone? Also, hang on, let's slow down the game. He's got his arms up in the air. Alright, so he's just running around killing colonists, basically. How do I kill the rogue drone? I guess we just have to wait it out. Doesn't appear to be anything I can do. If he just runs around killing all my colonists, I'm going to be pissed. I mean, it looks like, looks like exactly what he's doing. Certainly what Six said she would do. All right, so the cold wave has ended. We are definitely going to go ahead and shut down every last one of these. Now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one. I'm going to completely demolish it. We're going to remove it because I need to slightly change its position so that I can have a tunnel between these domes. And I apologize in advance to these colonists who enjoy this garden, but we need to remove that as well. Okay, so we're going to slightly reposition that one. To where, though? select that power cord right now on account of the dome selection issue or the, the drone selection issue oh, there we go okay it was selecting it that was this that's what the sound meant but it wasn't showing me that i had anything selected yeah i know i have rogue drones attacking it's annoying believe me believe me i'm aware all right so we're going to build a subsurface heater here instead should be all I need. Just need a few more metals, and that'll get built. The new dome is going online. Very good. Let's go ahead and build some new green space. Let's do a stone garden up front, followed by standard garden. Let's do a couple of standard gardens, and then rotate the appearance. Perfect. We're going to cut you off. We're going to put you at high priority and we're going to increase your service area to maximum. All right, so this dome doesn't have life support, obviously. 
but we will soon fix that by building a passageway between the domes. And it will be lovely. Okay, so... Mm, I don't love that it's not perfectly lined up there. But we can fix that by... Okay, I know what I can do. Never mind, we're good. You can just left click and it allows you to do turns. All right, so it looks like the rogue drone, the rogue drone, assuming this was the rogue drone, might have just self-destructed because I don't see the rogue drone thing anymore. We're gonna rebuild that building. That was part of our new water production apparatus. Kind of annoying. Rude. Don't have a lot of stored power at the moment, so I really need power to come back online right now. Anomaly found. What? Nice. And the RC transport's already on it. Oh, it's because we have a meteor storm already happening. Yeah, I forgot that that was immediately following the cold wave. That's handy. All right, so this passage is being worked on, and that'll provide that dome with life support. And then we should have all that we need. start getting rare metals produced here. Let's go ahead and build that rare metals extractor. Okay. You are going to go right there. Hang on. We'll put the dome as close to the colony door as possible. Let's put you there. And this will solve the life support warning. Nice. All right, now we're building up power during the day, but it does definitely seem like, yeah, we, we need we need more where that's coming from. So let's go ahead and uh, demolish this power accumulator because we can build another atomic accumulator right here. So all of the original power accumulators have been replaced with atomics. And now we can start over here and begin doing the same thing. And I am going to do that, just starting with these two. Probably just going to have a single row of atomic accumulators and not as many. Maybe two or three here, and that'll do it. Really glad we got that research anomaly. So the magnetic field generator is almost done. 98% done. And that'll really help us continue to build up atmosphere. Although it's really expensive to build. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. All right, we're going to build Amplify here so that that is working in our favor. All right, so we have a new dome, not in the place we we're expecting to have it. We'll eventually have one there too. We might even have passageways connecting both. That'd be kind of cool. But we are going to need people to work th those deep rare metals. Okay, good. The magnetic field generator has been researched, and now we're on to domeless farming, another big research project. And nothing else for the RC Explorer to do right now. I kind of don't want you hanging out where the meteor shower is happening though, bud, so why don't you come over here, please? Seems like the meteor shower is not too direct of a threat at the moment, but we have one soul and 12 hours remaining, and it is migrating slightly from down here or here, so we're going to cross our fingers that it doesn't get worse. So we'll have plenty of metals in this particular deposit. Oh, nice. Let's launch another rocket full of colonists. We only have one Earth sick colonist at this point, and he is getting considerably more comfortable. So we, what we might do is wait to land the colonists that are on the way until that Earth sick colonist has been dealt with. But in any case, I think since we've got that dome built, we're out of danger. It appears like the rogue drone 
I'm sure something else horrible is going to happen. But before something else horrible does occur, since we've had our share of horrible and dead colonists, I mean, one dead colonist is too many for one episode. I'm going to stop this one here. In the next one, we're going to continue to see what Project 6 is up, up to. We're going to continue to watch Mars turn green. And we might finally have, let's see how much it costs before I finish here. We can build the magnetic field generator, and we actually are in a pretty good position to get one of those built soonish. Now, building too many of them does increase the number of Mars quakes, as I mentioned earlier. Um, it does cost a lot of metal, though. So before I build one of those, we might need to make sure that we have a better source of metal and just a higher amount of metal in general. We could order some from Earth, or we could, um, yeah, Capital City. We can eventually build that. That'll be a fun cap to the series, right? But, uh, huh, cap, <laughs> that was unintentional and I'm already ashamed of myself. So, um, yeah, magnetic field generator is going to be a priority, but before that, metals are going to be a priority and then avoiding whatever mayhem Project 6 decides to throw our way. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.